Hello, Andy, their fans. Michael O'Sullivan here with head coach Russ Turner. 98-97 final Fresno State. A half-court buzzer beater off glass coach. It was a tremendous college basketball game. Really, both teams left it all on the floor. I know it's tough to swallow right now for your guys, I'm sure. But uh, also an opportunity maybe comes from something like this, don't you think? Of course. You know, we got a disappointing locker room, but... Um, yeah. You know, give Fresno State credit. The kid made an unbelievable shot, and we had it fully contested. And, right, uh, right. You know, I was pleased with the way we defended the last play. I was not pleased with the way we defended throughout the game. And you know, I think our inexperience showed defensively more than offensively. I'm surprised we weren't able to impose our will uh, by, by continuing to go to the paint to score. So we're going to get better at that. And, uh, and we're going to become a better defensive team than what we were tonight. You know, tonight we just weren't very good. I mean, we looked like a team that was content to trade baskets a lot, and uh, that's not what we're going to become. Um, I'm disappointed that we haven't made more progress defensively yet, but we're going to get there. Chris McNeely sure looked like a senior leader tonight. Yeah, I mean, all the experienced guys, the most experienced guys I thought played well. I thought our freshmen played pretty well. Um, you know, if you evaluate the game on the offensive end, yeah. I don't think we played well enough defensively. You know, we, yeah. we're we going to be a shot blocking team. And right. uh, tonight, you know, I don't think that uh, we were that. And uh, we got to get better. That just means we got to get better. Thanks a lot, Coach. All right, thanks. Coach Russ Turner after his team 98-97 loss. A heartbreaker, no doubt. But you heard Coach Turner, an opportunity to really build off this. No question, a disappointed locker room. And for the Anteaters, they really struggled from the free throw line, shot under 50% from the charity stripe. And that's got to be something that uh, you would hope would improve down the stretch. We'll see you next time, Eater fans.